In the last part you have created a second page. You notice that both pages share a lot of code. Do you remember I said websites have dynamic parts? You see them here in red. Websites usually also have static parts. You see them here in blue. If the static parts are the same for all pages, there is no need to repeat them on each page. In this part you learn how to make a master page. A master page contains all the code that is shared by pages. I will create a master template and extend the index and product details templates from it. I duplicate the index template and call it master. I replace the HTML formatters and product loop with a block tag. Now I extend the index view from the master view. I strip all the static HTML from the template. I extend from master. And now I indicate that the following code should be injected in the main block of the master template. Before I extend the product details template, I check if this works in the browser. It works. I extend the product details template from master. I strip the static code. I extend from master. And I check if everything works in the browser. Very nice! Both templates are now extended from master and the duplicate code is gone. I want all pages to show a page title, so I will move the h1 to the master as well. But when the index view is loaded, there is no page title. This is because the index view context has no title. Let's add it. I save and reload the browser. And that is how master pages work. From now, each new page will be extended from the master page. It certainly makes the child pages a lot more readable.